Hey folks, how you doing? How have you been? Leducium here playing Hearthstone and I'm going to play a deck that I built which is probably something I could say about most of these decks if not all. But I'm going to be playing my Murloc deck and it's a Shaman uh, kind of deck with Murlocs and that's pretty much it. So it's not great so far uh, from my testing but it's fun uh, I could probably improve it a bit uh, I don't have the Murloc legendary that the shaman has so that would help but still uh, this is just for fun so let's give it a go play a few games see what happens so we're playing against another shaman excellent So we got two Murloc Tide Hunters. We're going first in a Bloodlust. I'm going to throw one of these back. I'm going to throw the Bloodlust back. And let's see if we can get something better. Uh, this is good, I think. All of the Murlocs have plus one attack. We're going to start off with the Murloc Freighter. And my reasoning is... Um, I want to see if he's got some way of getting rid of it. He might. Hopefully he doesn't have Lightning Storm because that will screw me up. Pretty badly. Um, we're going to play the Grimscale Oracle. Hit him for three. So he can still screw this up. Um, but we'll see. If not, hopefully I can get the Feral Spirits out. All will be well. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But he did burn an Earth Shock, so that's kind of okay. Um, so I could play the Flame Tongue Totem here. Or I could play the Feral Spirits. Feral Spirits gives me some sort of taunt. Well, not some sort of. Gives me taunt. Um, Flame Tongue Totem, though, gives me more attack. Yeah, we'll do the Totem. Or I could have played the Cold Lights here, but that only gives my current... Murlocs on the field plus two health, and I'd rather have more Murlocs out on the field. So he's burning his removal, which is okay, I guess. Um, let's. Hmm. Let's see if we get a decent totem. Ah, well, we get taunt. I'm so tempted to play this, but I'm kind of afraid because well you know what let's risk it I'm afraid of a lightning storm but no risk can't have reward uh, he plays feral spirits which is great actually um, so whenever Murloc is summoned gain plus one attack that is good we could play this and then I think I'd rather play this Get all my Murlocs a little buffed up. Unfortunately, I still can't kill everything that's on here. But I can injure it. And we'll see how he responds. No Lightning Storm, please. Coin. Into. Piloted Shredder. I can live with that. I have my own Lightning Storm. That's pretty okay. Uh, so let's do that. We're going to summon a Totem. We're going to Lightning Storm. Clear that out. Uh, I'm going to let that live. I don't need to kill it yet. I don't think. That might be a mistake, but. It's got a healing totem. Damn it. Most of this, yeah, is going to die. But some of it will live. And some is better than none. Do I go for a healing totem? 
Wrath of Air Totem. All right, that's okay. Um, so I've got more Murlocs to play. And he just plays a Pilot Shredder. This is going to uh, trade for that eventually. Hey, what do you know? There we go. It's all the cards we can have. Uh, so I could try to kill my opponent or kill his cards, but instead I'm going for face. I've got him down to five. If I get Crackle or... Mm, that's not good. So unfortunately everything is cleared out, but I can still win if I get Crackle or something half decent. Hex is not going to help me, but I'll play it. Because I've got nothing else to play. Do I play Puddle Stumper here? It's just going to die to this, but... Alright, fine. Crap. Yeah, that's not good. It's going to get a lot of card draw this way. My other Lightning Storm would be very useful right about now. I might have overplayed my hand. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Nope. Not quite good enough. I have a lot of these shitty Murlocs. Maybe I need better card draw in this deck. Because I have so many shitty Murlocs. And Ragnaros is not going to help me. In fact, it's going to make things a little bit worse. Because I'm going to start taking 8 damage a turn. Probably should have saved my Hex. I can still win this if I get Crackle. Unfortunately, I didn't. And this is probably game. 8... 10, 12, yeah. That's game. So, played a bit aggressively. Unfortunately, it did not work out well for me. Let's see if we can put some quick card draw into that deck. Uh, because I don't have much in the way of card draw. Or better removal. Got the Feral Spirits in there. Wind Fury could be useful. Um, but... Do I have both of these in here? I only have one, don't I? Yeah, so let's put two of these in there. Um, let's get rid of one of these Murlocs. This one. And put a second one. Of those in there. Let's as good as I can do right now and let's play so I got rid of one of the 2-1 Murlocs pretty shitty put in another Manatide Totem hopefully that will get me more card draw which I need to summon more Murlocs that's the plan anyways let's see what happens Lewis Inferno is who we're playing against. We're going first. Getting rid of Hex. Um, I'm loath to get rid of the Manatee Totem, but this isn't great either. So we'll see what happens, though. All right, it's a little similar to the last game. Web spinner. Does I'd expect nothing less? No, he's doing tracking. Okay. It's fine. So I could throw out the flame tongue totem, give this plus two, hit him for four. Or I could throw out this, give it plus one, but have another one one on the board. I don't know. We'll see what my next card is. So he still has a coin, but otherwise he can't really do much. Okay, 
It's a hex. I'm going to throw out the flame tongue totem. Gives me the most bang for my buck. Next turn, Manatai Totem, methinks. Hopefully he doesn't have a way to kill it. I can get a little bit of card draw. River Crocolisk, okay. That's all his cards. Well, he still has a coin, so he can still do that. I can crackle the River Crocolisk. I don't say that nearly often enough, but instead I'm going to Manatai Totem. We're going to actually, I did that wrong, but we're going to keep this alive because I can cr kill the River Crocolisk later. Right now I'd rather do direct damage. We'll see what he does. Bloodfin Raptor, all right. He's got kind of beginner beast cards. Interesting. Uh, kill the Murloc, probably, is what I would do. Yeah. The Crocolis still lives. All right. So what do I do? Murlocs, methinks. Let's see what we get here. Uh, not super useful but not super terrible. We'll kill this. Put this here. And this gets healed, but it's still gonna die. But I do get old Murkai, good. So this will let me do a little bit more damage. I've got two more locks out. Um, explosive trap would be a real pain in the butt if I can. I can actually Bloodlust next turn and do a lot of damage. So hopefully it doesn't play any secrets. You're attacking the wrong thing there. Well, I guess that's kind of a good thing to do for him. But I still get card draw. So plus 3, 3, 3, 3, so that's 12. Never mind. All right, I think I will Feral Spirits at this point and summon a totem. Get more Feral Spirits. Not exactly what I wanted, but with the Healing Totem, might be able to keep these alive for a while. And the more Feral Spirits I get, the better my Bloodlust can be. So the more crap I can have on the board, the more I can Bloodlust for. So this would be 15 damage, which is pretty good. I can't do it next turn because I'm going to be overloaded. But 15 damage is not too shabby. How's he outpacing me on cards? Oh, because of tracking. Don't be explosive trap. And we'll be cool. I think I might bloodlust again. What I'm thinking is I kill this before seeing if it's explosive trap or not and then well trigger the explosive trap because I might as well so first this then let's see if it's an explosive trap it is and let's see if we can get another healing totem we do we get lightning storm as well So I didn't play the Feral Spirits, but that's okay. Um, so Explosive Trap's out of the way. These guys can heal. I can still get cards. And hopefully I can get more crap out on the board. King of Beasts. That might have to be hexed. Hmm. I can crackle it, but that probably won't be enough to kill it. Hex would probably be better. He didn't trigger the battle cry. He did that in the wrong order. Just noticed 
um, but that's okay. It's good for me. Um, so let's go ahead and hex that. So I'll write murder it. We'll play this. Well, I don't like that. We'll play this. And then we'll play this. And then we'll get a heal. And a bluegill warrior. Now, if I can have this crap live for a turn, I can finally bloodlust and do some serious damage. I just need this crap to live long enough for this to happen. River Crocolis is good. It's not a taunt and it's not some sort of AoE. What else have you got, buddy? Louis Inferno, if that is your real name. Ah, you son of a bitch. As soon as I said it's not a taunt. What does he do? Alright, so um I'm gonna be overloaded. I'm gonna have six mana, which is not enough to crackle and do this. Um Whenever a friendly Murloc dies, I draw a card. That's nice. But if I Bloodlust, I can sacrifice a card to get through that. So I think that's okay. I don't think I'm going to have a much better opportunity to Bloodlust. So let's do it. We'll sacrifice so this wolf that's slightly hurt to get by that. And then do direct damage to his cranial cavity. Then all I have to do is crackle and I win. Or fire elemental and I win. Excellent. Or bluegill warrior and I win if he doesn't have a taunt. So I have options. Or old Murkai. No taunt. Good. I think I've got this one. This is not a great deck. It moves very slowly for what it's designed to do. Because I'm at turn 8. And I'm not playing a good hunter. So, Or at least I'm not playing a hunter with a good deck. So it's not that great, but it's still interesting. And I'm having fun. All right. So what do you say? Crackle, Fire Elemental, Old Murkai, or Bluegill Warrior <laughs> for the kill? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a Murloc by the toe. If he Murlocs, let him go. Bluegill Warrior it is. All right, excellent. That went well. Let's play one more, shall we? We're one and one. Let's see how we do. Got ourselves a worthy opponent. It's another hunter. Popka. Papka, Popka. All right, we get to go second, which is great. Um, I kind of want to keep old Murkai. I'm going to throw the Cold Se Light Seer back. And this is good. You know, I'm just thinking I could get the Cold Light Oracle. Yeah, I'll start with this. Because then I could summon two more Murlocs. Um... Cold Light Oracle would not be a bad thing to have. It gives my opponent two cards, but it also gives me card draw, which I desperately need, and Murlocs, which I desperately need. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was easy. Let's do one more, because that... Doesn't really count. Saw my Murlocs and ran. Everyone's afraid of the Murlocs. So here we go. We are playing a hogger. 
No, we're playing Jane of Proudmoore. This is bad. Because most of my Murlocs uh, have one health and will die rather easily to one damage. So I'm going to throw both of these back in the hopes of getting something a bit better. This is good. The Murloc War Leader is very good. Um, so what I can do is I can play the Murloc Tide Caller. And then I can coin Murloc War Leader. And then turn three, I play Feral Spirits to guard them. I think that would be the better play. I'm assuming... Hopefully she doesn't kill it with a Frostbolt, but if she does, then she wasted a Frostbolt, so that's cool too. Oh, Unstable Portal. And gets a card. And it was uh, Blood Sail Raider. That's cool with me. Um, I can actually trade this for the Blood Sail Raider if I really want to. And it would still live long enough for it to be killed by her hero ability. Which is fine. I would rather this get killed by the hero ability than she trade the Blood Sail Raider and hero ability into that. Feral Spirits or Bluegill Warrior? Um, I think because my opponent doesn't have anything out on the out on the old card field here. We'll play the Bluegill Warrior, get some quick damage in. Then I could play a Cold Lights here. Or I could do Flame Tongue Totem and regular Totem. It's more spell power. Okay. Arcane Missiles for four. Good, good, good. Um, so I'm thinking totem in the hopes of getting a healing totem. I do not. We'll play this then for a little bit extra damage. And this is going rather well. My opponent is now down to 12. Uh, AoE could still screw me up, but... That screws me up too, but that's okay. Um, so I could use Crackle on this. How much damage can I do? This just gives me health. All other Murlocs have plus one attack, so three, five. So that gets her down to seven. Won't quite kill her, but it'll get her close. So let's do this. Let's Feral Spirits. Not seven, eight. But still pretty damn close. All right, and I'm one turn away from Flame Strike, but if I can get a lucky crackle in plus get some damage through, I might be able to win. Another unstable portal. What kind of creature will she get? Hopefully, it's not a taunt. Whatever it is. So she's obviously, well, not obviously, but she's going to kill a 3-1. That's what I would do. Frostbolt, that. It's fine. Runs that in. That's fine. So we trade that for that. I don't quite have enough to kill her. So I can crackle. I can summon a totem and hope for a good crackle. Or I could play the lights here, buff this up and try to go for more direct damage like this. I can still crackle later on. All right, good, that's not a flame strike. What does this do? Whenever you cast a one mana spell, add a random mech to your hand, okay. Yeah. Damn, she got me with her flame cannon. All right, well, this we can hex. Should we? Yeah. Let's totem up. If I get a Wrath of Air totem, which I don't, 
I was going to crackle. All right. <laughs> Still waiting. Ah, uh, poop. I should just play the Mana Tide when I get the chance. Has her Drake, gets her card draw, or him. Govillian. More spell power. My opponent seems to be all about the spell power. Uh, this is okay, I guess. Let's see what we get here. That'll determine what I do next. Taunt. Um, which is still not great. So I'll play this. Buffs all of these up. Well, buffs some of these up. All I need to do is get through maybe three or four damage. Damn it! Three or four damage is all I need. But it's going to be difficult. Maybe. Uh, let's see if I get Wrath of Air. I do. We crackle. Is it fatal? Almost. Well played. Old Murkai. Nice. That went well. Kind of got lucky there at the end, but nonetheless, we won. We had our rank 20, and with that, I'm going to put a break in this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had fun with the Murloc deck. I'll probably be making changes to it as I go. But anyways, with that, I'm going to put a break right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please show your support. Leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, my name is Leducium. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.